All right, so your name and title. I'm Ann Schulberg, and I am a graduate student at Scripps Institution of Oceanography right. and also an assistant scientist at J. Craig Venture Institute. And what science are you currently working on, if you can talk about it? Um, I'm working on algae metabolism. So basically, I have a subclass of algae called diatoms, which are crazy, beautiful little phytoplankton that photosynthesize and do a lot of crazy things that other algae don't. And I am basically looking into those crazy things. And one of the crazy things I do is uh, process nitrogen in some ways that allow them to survive crazy environments. And I want to find out what kind of mechanisms they use to um, process nitrogen and other nutrient cycles different, differently. Is it, I, I was just gonna ask another question that's not on the list, sorry. Is that like extremophile? Is that like trying to- No, I'm so not that cool. No, I would like to do extremophiles, but it's basically like, how are they? Well, I mean, basically, because it's like low oxygen, low light. It's not like Antarctica, but I guess that is low oxygen. It's just uh, like, how do they survive? periods in the ocean where they don't have any oxygen or they don't have any light, but they're just like bobbing around. So um, what science are you passionate about if it's different than this, if you have a science that you're really passionate about? Well, I'm kind of a generalist. Like I think this time in my life, it's been really nice to explore different kinds of science because I don't feel like I've really narrowed down on the thing that I love forever, which is maybe controversial like getting a PhD. But um, one thing I just, I know I love is biological physical interactions and how and how the way the ocean moves affects the things that live in it i think that kind of reflects what the reason that we're all obsessed with the ocean and the sea is that we don't know anything about there's there's so many elements to it that we don't have on land and part of that is that there is this physical notion that we don't know anything about so and like ocean life the coolest thing don't know anything about it can't get there so it's fun okay. to investigate who has been an inspiration to you? It, do, it doesn't have to be a scientist, it could be, or it could be. Well, I had this professor in college and he was like really revolutionary to I think my way of thinking. And he was very silly in lab and he, his name was Stefan, but in lab he was Stefan. And I think that brought a lot of levity to a situation that was pretty high stakes otherwise. And um, he would always tell us, Take your relationship seriously, take work seriously, but never take yourself seriously. And I think I really took that with me and it's really allowed me to kind of explore things outside of my comfort zone. And that's not usually very comfortable as a scientist because you want to be in control and you want to feel like you know exactly what you want, what you're doing. But sometimes I think it's more important to open the possibility that you do not know what you want and you do know what do not know what you're doing. And that's been been a nice guiding principle, I think. That's beautiful. I love that. Um, so what kind of high school student were you? I was a space cadet. Um, I worked really hard and wanted to get good grades, but I always felt like I wasn't doing enough. I was not a participator. I should make that clear. I still, I did not participate in activities, did not enjoy hanging out with people after school. Did my, had a lot of friends, like did my thing at school and was like, thank you, clocking out, going home, doing my homework, whatever. Like, um, but I loved, I mean, I loved like biology and looking at, but I also hated it at the time because it was work and it was school, but that was just the thing that was less terrible than the other classes, I guess. Like, it's just hard. High school is so hard. I can't impress that upon high schoolers enough. Like what you're doing is so hard. It'll get it'll get better. So that goes into our other one. If you were able to give your high school self advice from yourself now, so you're like Marty McFly, mm. right? And you're going back and you're like, what would that advice be? What you're doing is so hard. Like it does not get that much harder after high school, I feel like I can't you're doing great like just like getting up and completing day is it's an impressive unto itself and also like you do not have to do it all that time in your life is such a blip compared to the rest of it and I remember just always thinking like I am not enough this is not enough and like even if that is correct you are so young of course you're not your whole self yet 
like you're you're just not supposed to have a passion for like I would always freak out when I was younger that I didn't have a passion I didn't have like something I love more than everything else I, was like, I can't get into college without this crazy passion but like that is just the human condition like you are gonna be fine you're gonna find something you like and if you don't find something you love for the rest of life you will like so many things in your life and that is just like how it's gonna go it, you're, you're just gonna be okay and like this is high school I wish I'd use it more of a time I, I, it would have been a very convenient time to explore further interests. Like, you know, I always wanted to take the pottery class, but I couldn't because that's when AP Econ was. And like, don't need to know anything about Econ now. Probably could have, would have been cool to like learn how to fire a kiln, right? Like, and it's a hard trade off to make when you're in high school because everything feels like your future hinges on. I know it's not any easier to get to college now. So like, you know, you're working against a system that's rigged against you. I totally appreciate that. But the stakes are lower than you might imagine and you don't have the full I mean I'm not that old but I still feel like I know like I have a much better perspective on how much the life there is outside of high school and there's just a lot more and it's a lot better so you just every, anything you're doing right now it's okay you're fine That's what, that would be my high That's school awesome. advice that, you're good everything's good so. it's fine yeah Okay, everything's great. Not too much pressure. Mm -hmm. right, this has been my favorite question to be asking the scientists. Two random facts that I probably couldn't guess about you and also could not be Googled until we post this video because after we post this, we can Google it about you. I just bought a motorcycle. That's my pandemic crisis. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. Um, it's very tiny. It's like a little, it's, it's it's like the smallest version of motorcycle you can buy um and it's very old and vintage so it's like partially the part of the sun is like you know fixing it and whatever but it still goes and two it's probably the most i go by my middle name because otherwise my initials would be my first name is sarah i go by my middle name Anne. my last name is shulberg and i have to do that because my parents wanted me to be called Anne, but if my name was Anne Sarah Schulberg, my initials would be unfortunate. I love so much that you told me that. You're so awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. So, hey, teachers, uh, Anne's been with us with many, many students at many events in uh, San Diego County libraries, in the public libraries. She was uh, prominent at the Kids to the King Tide, uh, where we brought many, many uh, classrooms of students um, and explored with them. Um, she's always out to educate and super fun and engaging with the students. So I hope you guys reach out to her. And you're amazing. I, you're, I'm so glad to see you right now. It's so awesome. <laughs> uh, do you have any last things that you want to say on this video to teachers? Um, I really like preteens and teens. I have a lot of experience, like, you know, as camp counselor or whatever. So it'd be nice to meet them. Be cool. And we're also saying teachers right before this, you guys are doing a good job. And such a good job. I cannot believe you people. Yeah. Not just to the students, but to the teachers. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Shocking. Amazing. Good job. All right. All right. Stay curious and Keep on sciencing. <laughs>